welcome back to our channel thank you so much for all your lovely responses in our first video we are so excited to be sharing more content with you guys and more videos today i'm actually going to be showing you two houses um our first one is going to be in san juan del sur and then we're going to take you to rivas and show you what you can get in rivas um so same prices but different locations just to give you guys a really good sort of view of what you can get out here for $300. So let's go to the first house. a really modern apartment. Um, <coughs> have a double bed and also a little single bed there next to the main bed which also can be used as a sofa. Desk of drawers here and a bathroom. There is no hot water here, but to be honest, that's quite common here in Central America. And with this heat, you don't necessarily need hot water, but I have to say it is nice if you can have it just to give yourself a proper hot water wash. So this is inside the house here in San Juan del Sur. Um, it is $350 a month and it comes fully furnished and it has air conditioning, but electricity and um, water is included, but electricity we have to pay for separately. We only have the air conditioning on for one hour at night and our electricity bill is about $70 here in San Juan. But that drastically changes if you go to another town. Say hi, Theodore. Um, we're just heading off right now to Rivas, a town near here, to go and show you guys a house that we're going to view, which is the exact same price that we're paying right now in the touristy um, beach town of San Juan del Sur. And we're going to show you the comparison um, of a house there in Rivas, the same price, but you get a lot more for your money. Hello! <laughs> So yeah, we thought we'd bring you along, we're going to go on the bus, it's quite an experience, you get to see another bus trip, not quite like the one in the last video, but um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy seeing what we get up to. conditioning on this bus and it is pretty hot but you get nice ventilation through the windows and beautiful views so yeah can't really complain <laughs> One thing we have noticed since living here is if you say what your budget is, then that is what you will pay. When we moved to Nicaragua, we came in with a really low budget. There's something for everyone around here. You can really find somewhere for $120 a month 
for a one bed apartment um, where you can find somewhere for $4,000 a month. If you're using a real estate agent out here then you're going to be paying higher prices but if you try and look around, speak to local people and ideally um, look on Facebook Marketplace and things like that then you will definitely definitely find more reasonable offers. spacious than our last place we actually have a, a big sofa and then as you come round you come up into the kitchen area and the great thing about this house is we didn't have to buy any furnishings it came fully furnished so it has all the appliances everything you need it even has a humongous oven <laughs> cooker um, which is great because coming from England where I cook a lot of things in the oven it's really helpful to have we have a washing machine and patio area out here. Um, it's a really good space for Theodore to run up and down. He absolutely loves it. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice outdoor space. We might have a barbecue out here or get him a paddling pool. It's just, yeah, really nice to be outside. So coming into our bedroom, um, this house actually has two large bedrooms. We decided to take this one and put the two big beds, join them up together, um, that just works really well for us. But coming in to this area, we have all the closet space, we have loads and loads of drawers, actually far too many drawers <laughs> for all the items we have. We've moved so many times that we have actually only two rucksacks full of things now, so yeah, pretty, pretty minimal. <laughs> um, here, huge closet as well. So we really didn't have to buy much for the house. Um, we had to get a few things like bed sheets, um, pillows, things like that. So this is Freddie's office space and our second bedroom. Um, again, a nice big spacious area, very high ceilings and yeah, the same again. We've got the closet, we've got the, the cupboards and everything. So it offers loads of space. One very important thing in this office is you do have to wear welly boots inside at all times. Um, yeah, they were they went on at first thing this morning and they stayed on. Theodore, what are you up to? Are you working? I'm doing some emails. Yeah. thought I would just wrap up today's video. I have really enjoyed filming the houses for you guys and showing you the contrast of the two. One thing I haven't really touched on is that price isn't everything when it comes to choosing a house, um, as I'm sure a lot of you already know. And I think it's, it's down to how you feel and there are definitely pros and cons to living in San Juan Centre. You're close to all the local shops and restaurants and the park, all of those things, the beach, is, is right on the doorstep whereas um, out here you do need to get in a car or catch a bus to go to most places. You can walk from here to the nearby shops and market um, so that's definitely an option but I think it's almost necessary if you're outside of any town here it's such so much countryside around you'll you'll probably need a car um, we're looking right now at buying a car so we have some way of getting around and going to the beaches and everything um, so that's something to take into consideration and also you you might not find such a expat community out here It's more just local um, Nicaraguan families and they are super hospitable and welcoming 
but you might be searching for that sort of um, Western expat community. In that case, maybe you would want to be closer to the beach. It really depends on uh, what you want. So I think that concludes today's video. I've really enjoyed sharing with you a little bit more about Nicaragua life and just showing you around our new house. So let me find my husband so he can come and say goodbye as well. <laughs> Here he is. He's mainly the cameraman and does all of the editing of the videos. So definitely an important role in, in our project. Over time, you'll see more of all of us together. But thank you we'll so see. much. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us along the journey. And if you would like to give this video a thumbs up, and hit subscribe then that would be really really helpful and helps us out so i hope to see you in our next video Bye. thanks very much